Hello, and welcome to another lecture in the University of Washington Synthetic Biology online lecture series. Today's lecture is going to be on flow cytometry. So what is flow cytometry? Flow cytometry is basically a laser-based technology that is commonly employed in cell counting, cell sorting, biomarker detection, and various other protein engineering applications. Let's just take a second right now and break flow cytometry down. Let's break the word down to better understand what it means. Flow um, is basically fluid or flowing, uh, cyto being cells, and metry being measurement. So as the name suggests, uh, flow cytometry is a method used to measure flowing cells. And this is achieved by suspending cells in a stream of fluid and passing them through an electronic detection apparatus. So now that we know uh, the basic definition of flow cytometry, it would help us understand its function a little better. And here is a diagram to illustrate the same. So as you can see, there are several components uh, to the flow cytometer. You have the lasers. Uh, and then you have your fluidic system, your optical system, and your electronics. And all of this uh, together uh, works as the backbone for the flow cytometer. So let's break it down and understand, try and understand each component of the flow cytometer. So over here we have the fluid cell and uh, the liquid stream, and it contains the liquid stream or sheath fluid that helps carry and align our cells so that they pass in a single file through the light beam for sensing. Now we have our lasers that uh, provide a single wavelength that passes through the cells and that helps, I mean the scattering of that light helps in the detection of these cells. We have our optical system which basically uh, several mirrors uh, that deflect the light and these lights are then um, detected by a set of detectors which convert that analog si signal into a digital signal and then there's an amplification system that amplifies that signal and a computer for analysis of the signal. So now you ask how does the flow cytometer work? So we have the beam of light right here, uh, which is of a single wavelength, and it is directed onto a hydrodynamically focused stream of liquid containing a single file of cells. And this, like I mentioned, is achieved by the sheath fluid. Um, and then there are a number of detectors that are aimed at the point uh, where the stream passes through the light beam the stream of the cells that pass through the light beam. Now when the light comes in contact with the cell, it is going to get scattered in various directions. Um, the scattering in the direction of the beam, uh, right here, is the forward scattering. And the ones that are perpendicular to the beam are called side scattering. And this is what we achieve here. So each suspended cell that passes through the beam scatters the ray and the fluorescent chemicals that are found in the particle or that are attached to the cell may be excited into emitting light at a longer wavelength than the light source. And this combination of scattered and fluorescent light is picked up by these detectors and by analyzing the fluctuations in say brightness at each detector, um, it is then possible to derive various kinds of information about the physical and chemical structure of these cells. Uh, now it is important to know that the forward scatter correlates to the cell volume, whereas the side scatter uh, correlates the inner complexity of the particle, such as the shape of the nucleus, uh, the amount and type of cytoplasmic granules, or even membrane roughness, uh, for that matter. Uh, so this is just a very brief, rudimentary uh, 
explanation of how a flow cytometer works. Now, a specialized flow cytometer, flow, flow cytometer called fluorescence, fluorescence activated cell sorting, or FACS, is a special type of flow cytometer, and it provides a method for sorting a heterogeneous mixture of biological cells into two or more containers, one cell at a time, based upon the specific light scattering that is achieved and the fluorescent characteristic of the cells. Now, FACS is a very useful scientific instrument as it provides fast, objective, and quantitative recordings of fluorescent signals from individual cells, as well as physical separation of cells of particular interest. And uh, lots of molecular biology labs uses uh, facts for those purposes. So just to recap, in summary, flow cytometer or flow cytometry is a laser-based technology that is commonly employed in cell counting, sorting, biomarker detection, and protein engineering. And it is a great tool to get an idea of the physical and chemical makeup of a cell.